Welcome everybody. In this lesson today, we're going to be talking about the parts of the acoustic guitar. First, we're going to start over here with the body. This is the body of the guitar. If you look right here where the strings are coming out of the body of the guitar, we've got the bridge. Here we have the sound hole, and that's where the sound is projecting out of the guitar. Some of you may have a pick guard, and the point of the pick guard is to help protect your guitar um, from any strumming you do with a pick. Also, most likely, you probably have a six string guitar, and real quick, let me talk about the notes that each of these strings are. If we start with the lowest, we have the note E. With our next string, we have A followed by D, G, B, and finally, another E. And if we're going to number these strings, we actually start with the highest, the high E, and that's going to be the first string, followed by a second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, back with the lowest. Finally, with the body of the guitar, you may or may not have a cutaway, and that's this section right here. The cutaway in an acoustic guitar helps in enabling you to play higher on the fretboard. So if you notice, because there's no wood here and there's no body, it eases the access of my left hand to fret the notes up here that are higher. However, if you don't have a cutaway on your guitar, it's not the end of the world. You'll still be fine. So let's move a little bit further over in this direction. This whole area here is the neck of the guitar. On your neck, you're going to have a fretboard, which is this section in here. On the fretboard, we have frets, which are these metal objects. And finally, we have what are called fret markers. And those are a visual aid for you to see where you are on the fretboard. Most guitars will start with the third fret and have a marker, and will go uh, in odd numbers for the next few. We'll have the fifth, we'll have the seventh, the ninth, and then at the octave, we'll have the twelfth, followed by the fifteenth, seventeenth, and possibly 19th, although this guitar actually ends at the 15th. And if you look at the, um, the top of your neck as you're looking at it, you may also have dots, which are also uh, fret markers um, that are similar to what are on the fretboard. Finally, the last major part of the acoustic guitar is the headstock, which is lo located up here. Um, on this headstock, you've got tuning pegs, and these are used to tune the different strings. Um, with the ones on top here, if you turn them counterclockwise, that makes the strings higher. And if you go clockwise, it makes it lower. And then also, we have the nut, which is located right here. And this is where the strings are passing across before they reach the tuning pegs. Your guitar also may have strap buttons on it. We have one located, at least on this guitar, on the underside, right here. And we have another located over here. And so you would take a strap, connect it here, and then over to here, and then over your body in order to hold the guitar when you're standing. Finally, this particular guitar is an acoustic electric guitar. So you may have already noticed I have a cord plugged in here. So that allows you to take your acoustic guitar and plug it in to either a PA or an amplifier in order to get a louder sound if you're perhaps playing a large room or a concert. This guitar also has controls here for the electric portion of the instrument. 
and that comprises the major parts of the acoustic guitar. <laughs> 